is on edge tonight. The residents recently learned two sex offenders are moving into a nearby home. NBC 15's Meredith Barrick attended tonight's community notification meeting and joins us now with more. John Lee, more than a dozen community members came out to tonight's meeting to learn more about what this would mean for them and their families. It allowed them to ask questions and raise any concerns that they may have about the two sex offenders who will soon be a part of their neighborhood. I have a young daughter who's middle school age. They have a, you know, a son. He's in grade school. They're starting to be more independent out in the community. Alicia Ria says she was scared when she first learned two sex offenders would be moving into a home in Stoughton. But everybody deserves a chance to try and prove that they can be back in society. But, you know, you need to be aware of what's going on and aware that these people are around so that you know that there's possibly something bad could happen again. That was the exact message from the community notification meeting. That's 93% of victims are known uh, to, the, to the perpetrator. But I'm glad people are here to listen. I'm glad people want to be aware of their community. It's important. An uncomfortable topic that Alicia says will lead to a crucial conversation with the entire family. We're going to sit down and talk about what I learned here tonight. The, what's safe, what's not safe, who to trust. See them in the grocery stores, they'll be out in the communities. My daughter's going to start walking home from school by herself. We need to be aware of what's in, in our surroundings. Now, there are currently 999 sex offenders living in Dane County alone. You can head to NBC15.com to find out if you have any in your neighborhood.